So what is the difference between JSON Web Token issuer and the audience claim? So we already talked about claims, but what is it with these two in particular? So remember, a typical JSON Web Signature Token consists of three parts, unless it's unsecured, right? So you have the header, you have your claim set, and you have the digital signature or your Mac. And issuer is just one particular predefined claim, so abbreviated with ISS, uh, which and means that whoever created this token okay so if i have a particular server and the server creates this token then the server would be the issuer so this this is also what it says in the rfc so it says it identifies the principle that issued the json web token the value is case sensitive string containing a string or uri value use of this value claim is optional yeah so this is what issuer is and audience is the intended recipient Right? So if you are actually requesting this token, if you're consuming this token, or if, then you are like the a recipient and uh, yeah, then you are part of the audience. And this is what audience means. So it says identifies the recipients that the JSON web token is intended for. So you can have like one string or I think it's also possible to have an array here. Cool. So that's the difference between issuer and audience. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a th thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also send me a tweet. My Twitter handle is at production coder. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.